Hey, Mitsu guys, today is January 27th, and I want to talk to you today about music. Specifically, the opera, the grand macabre, but also music in general. So, I, in the past few years, I've gone through a really, really hellacious time and my love of music began to grow. And this weekend, as I do probably at least once a month now, I went to the opera. My friend is in the London Symphony Orchestra, and I see her in a lot of opera the things. This weekend was the Graham Macabre. And the Graham Macabre is literally, if someone took the Simpsons or Ren and Stimpy and put it into an opera, it's just, it's crazy. It starts with horn honking and then it goes berserk. When they are, and when I say horn honking, I mean car horns. Um, and the attitude of the Grand Macabre is kind of life is shit and then you die. Um, and what I love about it and what I love about music, where, whether it's something as crazy as the Grand Macabre or something as incredible as Ravel or Beethoven or Bach is it feels to me like it reaches towards an immortality. Music in itself says to me, life might be shit, but I am here, and I will overcome, and I will make something beautiful out of the hardship I have been given. And for me, a piece that exemplifies this more than anything is Ravel's left-handed piano works. Just to give you some background, so Paul Wittgenstein was a pianist who lost the use of one of his hands in one of the world wars. I forget which one, I forget which one off the top of my head. Um, and so, piano player, Loses the use of one of his hands. Terrible. And what he, what Wittgenstein chose to do was to commission top composers of the age to write piano pieces for the left hand, for solely the left hand. And that is such an inspiring act. That is such a creative act. And you see it over and over in people like Wittgenstein and people like Beethoven who composed as he was losing his hearing. This absolute statement of I am here. I am a one-of-the-kind original, and I am going to say something profound, even if very few people hear it. I am going to make the best out of this situation. And when I was about your age, Mishka, my head was just barely beginning to wrap 
itself around that challenge. That you play the game with what your hand was dealt. You don't have to create what anyone else creates. You don't have to live the life that anyone else thinks you ought to live. Your challenge, Wittgenstein's challenge, Beethoven's challenge, the challenge really in the grin of the cob when it says life is shit, then you die, is make something out of it. Do something. And that can be raising cats, that can be farming worms, that can be President of the United States, that can be Mother Teresa, that can be so many things. But you are here, you are alive, and in that act, in and of itself, is so much fortuitousness and civil disobedience. That your only challenge is to live the life the way you and only you can live it. That's all I've got for you today, Mishka. Hope you're well. Listen to the music. Music always, I have learned profoundly comforts me and brings me to another level and makes me feel like my statement to the world will be enough. So listen to some music and if you don't get that right away, it's a muscle that grows and it grew for me and it will grow for you too. <laughs> That's all I've got, Mishka. I'll see you later. Bye.